Hi guys and welcome back to Shit Gaming. We are back in action with another 2000 point battle up today. Death Guard. And it's the relentless and inexorable against the Legion of the Dam. In the Firestorm Assault Force, Sestati. Okay, kicking things off with the Death Guard. This is 2,000 points of Shea Gaming's Death Guard army. Okay, leading the force, we have Typhus in all his glory, leading a squad of 20 Poxwalkers. We also have the Lord of Virulence there, an absolute beast, giving his five oh, blind, oh, the wound roll and shooting, sorry. And he can pick any uh, vehicle that has blast and he gets ignore cover and plus one to hit if he can see that unit that they're firing against, which is really good. And he's an absolute beast. I also have the Tally Man with seven Plague Marines. All the Plague Marines are on the same. There's two heavy Plague weapons. The leader has a plasma gun and a bubotic weapon and the rest Plague bolts have... and Plague Knives. Perfect. That's the same in each squad, and this squad is being led by the Icon Bearer, who gives me a 12-inch Contagion once per game, and also plus one to see to the unit, which is really good. So I have two squads of Plague Marines, one being backed up with the Tally Man, the other one being backed up by the Icon Bearer, and they're going to be in a Rhino. Finally, my final HQ is the Lord of Contagion with the Enhancement for Deadly Pathogen, giving him plus one attack and strength, and plus two attack and strength if he has an effective objective underneath his feet. And two Blight Lord squads, two squads of five Blight Lords, the green ones are going to be all just with the bolters and with the plague weapons. Yep, so the green ones have plague combi bolters and bubotic blades, just all armed with that. And then the squad of the darker green ones have one with a blight launcher, which is pretty nice, two damage weapon. And the rest just have bubotic blades and plague combi bolters, one with the Lord of Contagion and one with the Lord of Virulence. Hellbrute with a plasma cannon just to give out Contagion when he wants to, when he fires. And it's a little bit of proxy there because he has been recently converted. And two Melter Jones. Physic Blight Haulers. And they're going to come up and hopefully kill some armor. One Photid Bloat Drone with Twin Plague Sprayer just to come up and flame some Astartes. And then finishing off, we have three Plague Burst Crawlers. The one on the left is armed with Entropy Cannons. These two in the middle have the Flamer Guns as well. The Twin Flame Cannons of the Death Guard. And this is 2,000 points of the Legion of the Damned. Kicking things off. So I'm leading a Salamander's list today. I'm going to be running them as the Firestorm Assault Force. Um, starting with characters, I have Sir Vulcan Hastan, the Forge Master. Da -da -da -da. He's going to be leading a squad of 10 uh, Infernus Marines with their Pyre Blasters. Wow, very cool. Second character is Adrax Agatone. He's going to be leading a squad of 6 Blade Guard. Very nice. Third is my Gravis Captain. He is going to have the upgrade that's going to allow him to flip one in my turn and in my opponent's turn, one hit roll, saving throw into a six. He's going to be leading six Flamestorm Aggressors. That sounds a bit elder trickery to me. <laughs> Last one is my Lieutenant with Combi Weapon. Um, I have ten points left over, so I'm just giving him Champion of Humanity. It means you can't modify his attacks. It does nothing in this game, but I couldn't put ten points anywhere else. Very nice. So in my troop slot, I have two squads of five Scouts. Um, I then have a lone 10 squad of uh, Hellblasters. Ugh. I have a big six man squad of Eradicators. Ugh. Uh, then moving on to vehicles, I have one Rhino. Hello, crappy Rhino. A crappy Rhino. I have a Land Raider Redeemer. Uh -oh. And a uh, Repulsor. Very nice. So, briefly tell us what Vulcan Astan does. So, Vulcan picks one unit, uh, sorry, one objective at the beginning of the game. If he stands on it, he becomes a big buff boy. He gets uh, uh, OC 10 and he gets a 4 up feel no pain. Very nice. Um, and then in the shooting phase, he selects a unit within 24, and my entire army gets rerolls to wound with Melter and flame weapons against it. Is that once a game or once a turn? Once a turn. What? Yeah. Um, and Adrax is going to half OC within within range of his aura, and he's going to give his whole squad reroll wounds. Nasty. And that is 2,000 points of the Firestorm Assault Force Legion of the Damned, Astartes, as they come up with their fiery might against the stinky smell of the Death Guard. So stay tuned as we now go to the setup, the deployment. And perhaps even the roll off. The mission today, deployment is hammer and anvil, so long ways. Not the best for the Death Guard. Primary mission is vital ground. So basically, in the second, third, and fourth battle round, at the end of each command phase, the players whose turn it is scores victory points as follows. If you control the objective marker in their own deployment zone, you get two victory points. For each objective marker in no man's land, you get five victory points. And we played this as a custom mission by having five objectives. And then finally, if they control the objective marker in their opponent's deployment zone, they score six victory points. In the fifth battle round, it's the same, but whoever goes second does so at the end of their turn, scoring-wise, instead of the end of their command phase. Tongue twister, here we go. That's the mission today, guys. Get ready now for the board. 
The board is set up by Maswa. We're playing Hammer and Anvil. Long ways deployment on a ruined Imperial City. The Death Guard and Firestorm Assault Force are going to clash in an epic match. Get ready. We have buildings being obscured. We have crates. We have two very even symmetrical deployment zones. And this is the terrain. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and enjoy. As we now go to deployment. So get ready. And deployment. We have the Space Marines as the defenders. And looking at the Death Guard in the board, we have on the left side our Melted Drone. In the Rhino, we have the Icon Bearer with his squad of Plague Marines. The Flamer Drone, the Hell Brute, and the Plague Burst Crawler with the Flamers on this flank. Pushing over to the center, we have the Entropy Plague Burst Crawler. And on this right flank, we have the other Flamer Plague Burst Crawler with the Melted Drone and another squad of Plague Marines. Looking very good for the Death Guard as we're going to push up and take the fight to the Astartes. And very quickly in outflank. I have the Lord of Virulence with his Bite Lords, the Lord of Contagion with his Bite Lords, and I have Typhus with all his Poxwalkers. So I have quite a lot of punch off Moving the Moving over, we have the Astartes, and my friend, take it away. So, in my Land Raider, I have the six Aggressors and the Aggressor Captain. Lovely. Uh, I have my Lieutenant with Combi Weapon just sitting on the back uh, objective. I have my Repulsa with my six Eradicators inside of it. Very I nice. have my Rhino with Vulcan and just the there. Front. Look how big he is compared to that tiny little Rhino. <laughs> Pick the rhino up. Um, I just had I just have two squads of scouts just camping on the middle and infiltrating. So it is the Astartes against the Death Guard. And before we go to the roll off, we declare that the Death Guard are choosing in contagion reigns not only minus one toughness, but also you will worsen in the AP save. So basically, your save will be reduced, infecting and corroding the power armor of these flame marines as your armor is getting burnt by your flames and is weaker. And you're also going to choose two objectives to get some abilities. Right, as well Vulcan now. is selecting the middle objective, meaning he gets OC10 on that objective. And also, he goes to 4 of Fiona Pain as well, which is super, super nasty. So it's the Flame Storm Assault Force against the many tanks of the Death Guard. Choose your weapon as we begin. Blue for the Death Guard. For the Astartes, as the Astartes are playing fixed mission. Death Guard, playing tactical. Here we go. Secondaries for the Astartes as you're choosing to oath the moment of this plague burst. Crew. End of the moon phase, the Astartes, they've pushed up with this array of tanks, and I'm a little bit scared. The advances, land raider, you can still shoot, but yeah, I don't think you're in range with some guns, but in range with others. And then you have the scouts on the objective, you've taken the center, you've got the I eradicators out behind the building, and you've got this repulsor in range, looking to kill maybe this plague burst crawler, so I could be in a little bit of danger. As we look to hold onto our horses here for Death Guard on the turn one for the Astartes, and you selected the middle objective with the Lieutenant to get your reroll ones to wound against army wide yeah. if you are on it. No, if you are on it. If Starting I'm. with the Rhino, he has a Hunt Killer missile. I'm doing Cloud of Flies on my Plague Burst Cooler, who does also have cover. So I'm hitting on threes? Yep. No, it's a fours. That's it. Also, Oaths as well. Uh, strength 14. So is it three to wound? That's oh. an AB3, you say? Come on! No. D6, a damage. Ow! This Lamrat is firing his multi melter as you did five damage with the one use only hunt killer missile, bringing my plague burst cooler down to seven wounds. Ouch! And now here comes the multi melter. Fours. Last one to hit, come on! Okay, with oaths. Some T10, oh. baby. One Invulnerable safe! Yes! Assault cannon, so we're rolling hits and wounds. Fours to hit. The twin with oaths, then you need it. Oaths. Oh. Sixes. Oh, it's trying to Yeah. No, this is fine, oh, just spent six. Drop. Bam. Yes. Another <laughs> hunter killer missile. Oh. Hits. Oh, you bar. Three to wound. You can't do it twice, surely. Should. Ah. On to it with Storm Bolter, and he tanks it as two CP for rerolls in this game. The Repulsor has a Laz Cannon, Laz Talons, and a hunter killer missile. The Plague Burst Caller is on seven wounds. Starting with. I'll start with the, um, the Laz. On fours with the Laz Talon. With oaths. Whoop. Oh. Strength 10, baby. So that's fours to wound. Ooh, okay. Three is a four up. Yes! Good shot with the last cannon. Misses! But it's oaths for a hit. And, and the twin linked. Three. So three to wound with a reroll. He makes it. Four, four, I think. Makes it! Alive! Hunter killer missile, you declared it. On a four, misses. With oath. Hits. Uh, three to wound. Three to that's, not, that's a two. That's the end of your shooting phase, the end of your turn. You don't kill any, bring any down points, and your other secondary is... Which you haven't killed any characters. So no points for you in your turn, as you push now into Death Guard, first turn. Oh, 
Death Guard on the first turn. Cleanse and overwhelming force. Cleanse do action on the center objective is not good. Overwhelming force, kill the scouts or the land raider. Doable, maybe impossible. We will see. Tally man! No. Team is now infected, and because it's infected, I'm gonna spend my CP that I got in my turn to heal flat three wounds on this tank, so he's up to ten. Bosh. Did I confuse you? Though? Yeah, you already did. <laughs> in the command phase, we have a three inch contagion range. We are. Tallyman failed his CP. You failed me. That's okay. We're gonna also going to see what happens in the movement phase as we start the Death Guard turn. End of a cautious first turn movement phase. We've advanced forward slowly. We've brought our two Melter drones into the center to zap that land raider. We have that Plague Burst Cooler pushing out. We have this Plague Burst Cooler pushing out. Advanced Plague Marines on the right side. We've also advanced this Rhino with the Plague Marines inside with this Flamer drone on the left side. So we're coming forward a little bit and we're going to try and overwhelm the force. And we're starting in the shooting phase, so here we go. He's gonna fire his plasma cannon into that land reader, and I'm gonna supercharge. Cool, I'm gonna minus one to hit and cover. So smoking and you're doing armor contempt. Yep. So D3 shots. The one shot, oh no. Four to hit! Yeah, you hit, thank god! And nine, boom! Nothing happens. But you are infected. In you're in my contagion range until my start of my next turn. Right, so you're now T11, but you're not T10 for a break point. But anyway, we're now gonna move to this. Plague Burst Caller, he's gonna do entropies into the Land Raider, and then he's gonna do the Mortar into the Scout Squad. Thing with the Mortar. Boom! Why am I getting so many ones? I am a five man. It was four though, so it is five, hitting on threes. And a fours. I can't see you. Yep. You're blind. Twos, you do have cover, so three, four up saves. Or oh, death! You choose one death. One life. Okay, and that was pretty lackluster, as we have entropies who could spice it up. Lethals! Oh, one hit. Boom! That's a wound! No, AP3, but, but you are contagious. So, so you have a 3 up save. Up. It's AP3, so you have a 6 up. But then cover is a 5 up. Armor Contempt is a 4 up. Yeah, exactly. It's a 50 50. Oh, you son of a gun. This Plague Burst Caller is going to do the big mortar into that squad, and then his flames are out of range. But I do have a stubber from this guy. Yes, cover. Shots with the Gatling stubber. On fours. Spice the wound. Oh. One wound. AP1, and you have a. Th no, you have a 3 up save, actually. You fail it. Mortar from that boy. Here we go. Okay, that's better. Pass of six, hitting on fours. That was better. Yes. And twos. Bam, three wounds. Nice. Three, three, four plus eight. Two die. Two are left. You've got two battleship tests to take on that squad. Uh, they're fine. And uh, you fail the mark pair a little. You pass the first one, uh, and you pass the second. Last pair, leg burst crawler into the two man squad of scouts. If I kill them, it's three points. It's pretty big. Bam! Six shots again. Force. Come on! Come on Dream is live. Lethal. Two. Two. You fail both. You. Fail both of me, I get points! Fail both! Ah, oh, you make both, you- This Melter drone is gonna do everything into the Land Raider. Starting with the Multi-Melter, hitting on fours. Here we go. <laughs> okay, one hit. Pulled a wound. Pulled on a wound! Yes! We have, it's a five up save, come on! I need this. Yes, you got a four! So My contagion worked! So it's decent damage. Five damage! Missile launcher going with the crack! Power, hitting on a four. What do you want a five? Strength nine. No, plus one wound. <gasps> I can plus one wound. Tank Hunter! Two, you have a three up save, five up, to a four up, to a three up actually. You have a three up save because it's an AP2, but you ignore both of those because of contempt to cover. So you have one three up save. D6 damage if you take, fail it. Ow. Three up. Fails it! D6 damage. Two damage. Half wounds as we have more shooting from the Melter drone because we have the Bile Spur, which is 12 inch range is out of range. Yeah. The but the second one's gonna do the same thing. Melty Melter, forced to hit. One hit, four to wound, and the melter fails to wound, crucially. One missile left Eight in the land raider. So I'm gonna die, but he could take some more damage. Hitting on a four. Oh. I'm gonna keep overwhelming force, and I'm gonna scar cleanse for a CP. On phase for start, he's on turn two. They're gonna oath that Mephitic Blight Hauler. And you get 12 points for your primary, nothing is battle shocks to take. No other thing to declare in the command phase. So therefore we move to the moon phase. For the start is in turn two, as a plague bus calls on 10 wounds, land raiders on eight wounds, minimal chip damage in the opening round. So moon phase for the start is turn two, jumping out the flame boys, gonna overwatch you with my flamers. Going down a CP. Flamer hits baby. Nine. Nice. Anti infantry two plus. Bam, Ooh, and it's a reducing a save because you're in contagion range, and it's also AP1, so it's five You can turn one dice to a six per round, and he could use it here to save one of them because he's going to need it because they're in pain. Yeah. Turning one of these fails into a six. 
five ups. Oh, it makes none. The flamer did a dent, and now we have the mortar. D6 oh, plus four. That's so many times. The lethals. Oh! One. He wants AB2, two damage, could kill the guy. Does. Three aggressors are wiped out, and the turn two Astartes. That's really good for the death guard, and we continue the Astartes. Just move phase with the Astartes, my friend. What was the gist? I uh, just moved everyone up. I'm going to start trying to kill vehicles and stuff now. Nice. You brought in the Hellblasters. You lost three aggressors. Operation kill all the death guard. Brought in rapid ingress. Five blind lords and the Lord of Contagion. Quite suspiciously close to the back objective as we speak on the front. And, oh god, Azrael's there. We continue with the movement phase is finished, and now the shooting phase begins! So where are we starting? Six eradicators going into the Plague Burst Cooler. Uh, so All but one in melt range of my Plague Burst Cooler on ten minutes. Breeze! Haha! <laughs> oh, you can reroll like Jesus to the heavens. A heaven smile upon thee! Yeah. We're going to forward because you're plus one strength. And you reroll as well. Holy schmackles, I think you got me here, bud. Oh, you so got me. Five in buttons. To the moon and back! Make one. Okay, I'm super dead. Does it explode? No! Egg burst cooler. Is taken out. That's one down, two to go. Okay. Continuing. This squad. With Mr. Volcan and that rhino firing everything into my other plague burst cooler. Pyro blasters. Two to six. For five. five. Blaster strength six, so T10, so five to five win. Uh, so AP is zero. Two up saves, takes two damage. Forge Father, Trent seven. Oh, so Ooh, nine shots. Jesus. Winning on five, Trent seven. Oh, uh, two. Cool. Uh, three up saves, you don't cover. Oh my god! This is now flame in the play burst cooler. He's taken four damage on eight wounds left. Number uh, of shots. Five, so ten. Six is re rolling on 13 dice. But bam! For two. With another one. Just one. Three plus saves. There we go. Bolt Storm Gauntlets. Yep. Six is nothing. No. Was the leader's gun into the Plague Burst Caller, who took no damage there on eight wounds left as we continue the shooting phase. And it's heating up yeah. with the Astartes. Repulsor is now firing down everything into my Hellbrute. Oh, the drone. The drone. Instead, to change your plan. Yeah. One of the last towns on threes. Yes. yes. Uh, Pretty wound. There you go. Mm -hmm. In one. Oh. Uh, D6 plus one. Uh oh. One damage. Four damage. Four. Drones on six wounds as the last cannon comes in. Last cannon. Misses! Also, a ray of many shots on threes. Bam. Sixes for nothing. Drone is tanking it so far as the repulsor fires all of its shots. You have the Land Raider and the Hell Blasters left. You pop my first Plague Bus Caller, but I still have two remaining as we continue the shooting phase. The Land Raider's doing everything. You're in the Melter yeah. Drone in the building that's been oathed by so, the Flamer Boys. Six would be awesome, Flamer. Okay. Five, Eleven. Seven. Five to wound, spent seven. seven. Nothing! Oh no! World's best land raider! Didn't do anything there, but he has a multi melter. Uh, I should have got. With Oath? I should have got Vulcan out. Doesn't even need it. Two so Five in one. Make both. Oh no! Okay. Uh, am I in melt range? I don't think so. No, you're not. You're not. That's, okay, cool. I need to get high rolls. Uh oh. That's one, that's a one. Damage. Damage. <laughs> that. that's five damage. damage. This drone's on six wounds. Tank on eight wounds. That drone on five wounds. As you have a twin assault cannon coming in now to finish off the land raider. Here we go! Oh, uh, Oath's is saving you. Fives with dev wounds. Because it's twin linked. Yeah. So okay. two wounds and one dev. More and three up saves. Down to four wounds remaining as you just have the hell blasters left. Hell blasters into the everything. Front. Yeah, everything. Supercharge? Yeah. 20 shots. Supercharge. Oh, was so good. I wish I had. Abyss were twice. The board is kind. Plus one strength. You're winning on fours. A bajillion wounds. I am so gonna die. Uh, fives. Uh, I rolled well but died. Do I explode? I do not. That's the second vehicle of this turn taken out. Ouch. Hazardous checks. On ones you die, you lose one. Three up and fire on death. You do. Two shots supercharged into him. Before he dies, he fires. And he hits once. And he does wound not. Two phase concludes. You kill the drone and the tank. That's on eight wounds. We now move to the charge phase. Starting with the aggressors. Into the plague bus cooler. I've overwatched already. And you make it on the four. Barely. Starting with the captain. The flaming skull. Oh. Forced to wound, no twin linked. For two. If you do damage, makes one of them. Black blade as well. Two attacks. Two attacks. On twos. Two hits. Plus one to wound. Plus wound is fives. Makes one. If you do damage, fails it. Oh, he's on four wounds left. Oh. Attacks with the aggressors. He's on four wounds remaining. Hit him on threes. Oh, he, he rolls well there ish. Average. Pretty decent. Yeah. Forced to wound with twin link. Oh, what a beast. Oh, they might be able to do it. Oh, I've got to make four of these. Oh, he just falls. Oh, does he explode? 
does not. You take out the second Plague Burst corner of the game. I deserve that. That was really good. <laughs> Damn. CP to get the Eradicators back into the Repulsor. And that finishes your turn as you kill two vehicles and the drone. So you actually get probably something like 11 points per secondary. We'll total up now. Let's push down to Death Guard turn two. Death Guard turn two, deploy Telephone as an overwhelming force. Tallyman gave me a CP. I discard and investigate signals in favor of deploy Teleport Homers. I have Blight Lords, Poxwalkers, and Typhus to bring in. A Land Raider on eight wounds to kill, and my turn to start. As I get a CP, I only get two points of primary, which is terrible, and you got nine field secondary for your bringing down points. And I have my secondaries, and we now start Death Guard turn two. So here we go. End of the Death Guard movement phase, we have thrown down the Blight Lords with the Lord of Virulence, looking into the eyes of his enemies, giving it a buffs out to my Plague Burst Caller, who pushed up as well. We brought down Typhus with his Poxwalkers, moved up the Plague Marines on that right side, and the drone has come up as well. This is sticky. Uh, the Rhino with the Plague Marines on this flank with the uh, Flamer Drone, as we move over here, and the Blight Lord to the back have pushed up. They needed Fire Charge to take this objective, but they could deploy the Teleport Homers. And that is concludes the Death Guard movement phase, as turn two shooting phase. Is about to begin. Typhus selects the land raider with his ability. Yes! Uh, is it? D6 mortals. Fifth six mortals! Yeah. Land raiders are two wounds. <laughs> flame a drone is gonna flame the scouts. Six! Flame on! Flame on! Five. Infantry two plus, and here we are within contagions. Bam! So it goes AP to six ignore six. cover, you have six ups. Flame on! So you One turn has a play combi bolter, killed two and a half scouts. Combi with rapid fire. Love it. The board is looking pretty epic as we now go to the next thing to shoot. We have a land raider to kill. He is no longer infected. He's on two wounds left. Typhus powered up. Hellbrute is going to fire into the land raider with the plasma cannon and the flame is going to go into the aggressors. D3 shots with the Hellbrute. Three shots. Three's to hit and I'm hit you. I'm contagious. Two hit. Passed his um, more wound test the last time. He's wounding on fives here. He gets nothing. I'm assuming you're overcharging. Yes, I am. Does he overcharge? Does he take damage? He does not. But you are now infected again. D6 flamer into the uh, aggressors. So five, you minus one toughness, so two. Rest is a T6, so only one wound, AP one, and then reduce an AP, so five up. I don't make fives. <laughs> this bad boy is going to do mortar into the lamb raider to try and kill it, and then the entropies are going to go into this repulsor. Rest. Actually, you know, if I shoot you, the eradicator shoot me, right? I can do that for, for a CP, so we're not going to do that. <laughs> we're going to do, do entropies. No, we're going to do mortar. Ah! Entropies into the aggressors, mortar into the lamb raider. Cool. D6 plus three on the mortar. My Lord of Virulence can see you. I'm hitting on twos here. There we go with lethals. Two lethals, two misses, five to wound. Ooh, three wounds. All AP two now. Two damage and ignore cover. Three four ups. You fail it, you're dead. Nice. Do you explode? No, but the land raid is taken out. Anti tank, who, what, where? Two entropies into the aggressors. That's three points for overwhelming force. Lethal. Two hits. Strength 10. So twos. AP is four here, so nice. So D three plus three damage. Taking out an aggressor as we wipe out the land raider. Whoopee! And Blight Lord's gonna fire everything into that squad with the Lord of Virulence. We'll start with the Lord of Virulence. Six twin links with the Lord of Virulence. Five nice. Two's two, but he rerolls everything because he's a beast. Nice. AP two. You have five up saves, one damage. Oof. So. Land Raider did not explode. Aggressors on two wounds and the captain's left as all the Blight Lords come 12 in. shots with Combi Bolters and two shots with the Blight Launcher. Starting with the Blight Launcher into the Aggressors. Two shots on threes. Two hits. Nice. Strength six and a T5 now. So threes with rerolls. Two wounds. AP1 is effectively AP2. Two damage. So five up. Ooh. Two of them. And first wait. one is made. And then I'll use his ability to flip one to a six. Nice. So oh, I actually, actually get to roll it first. Though. Yeah, you do. Turning that to a six. Very nice. And now all the Bolters come in. Bolters coming in hot. Threes with lethals. Five to wound, but twin links. Whoa. They're not twin links. No, it is twin link because of oh, the Lord of Rollins. Yes. I don't even need it. Oh my god, I made that everything. Reducing AP by one, which oh. is super strong, so you have four ups across it's the board. Four ups I have so just four ups across the board. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, the captain's on a single wound, we wiped out the aggressors, and that is we maxed overwhelming force. These playing wins gonna light up everything into the hell blast. Hey man, if he rolls a six, it's nasty. Oh I my god. Supercharging, of course. Two to wound. That's a wound. AP3, three damage. AP3, two damage is a six up save on a Hell Blaster. But you're within Contagion, so it's an extra AP. Oh, yeah, it's an extra AP because of Contagion. Oh my god, AP4, holy crap. Do you shoot on a three plus? You do. That's a Tallyman take damage. Oh, he does! 
Thanks. Oh, I was just gonna supercharge well for the gas. Two shots, one hit. But he gets plus one a hit. So it's actually two hits. Oh, ho, ho, two is to wound. Whoa, ha, ha, ha. Two more die. Both shooting as well, so three guys are gonna fire afterwards, but we're not done. Do you take damage? It just doesn't take any damage. Six plague bolters on twos. What the hell's with the ones? Oh, you got threes. And you got five. Take it down. Save the damage, but you do lose three, but then three guys get to fire back into my plague rooms. Oh no. The guys that can shoot back, three of them, so six shots into the plague rooms. This could be painful. Five hits. Threes to wound. Uh oh. Six ups to save me. May! Top two possessed. I killed three hell blasters. We continue with my shooting phase. We have just the mouth of Joan to fire. And he's gonna go his flame, his plague spewer, and the missile launcher into the captain. Drone's gonna do everything to the captain, but the missile launcher into the rhino. Missile, crack, misses. Melter, two hits. Just Melter, three. two's to wound, two wounds. Melter in ones, or Four. death. You fail the second one, no! Three shots of the bar spurt on threes with lethals. Lethals, lethals! Fives, four to wound. Yes, two wounds, because of contagion. Two four ups, yes! That's cool, the captain falls, what an epic showdown. Deploying the Telepahomers at the back for 10 points a secondary this turn, which is pretty good. I'm gonna need it. And then we're gonna go into the charge phase if we can. Blight Lords are gonna try and charge this repulsor. Okay. Need nine inch charge. I say power! Oh. Plague Marines are gonna charge those Hellbosses. Need. Oh, you cursed me! I fell the charge. That was pretty big. I fail all my charges. I get 10 for secondary. You push down to Astartes turn three. That was huge. So, Astartes turn three, they've owed the Plague Marines, nothing was battle shocked, and they got 12 for primary. There's cards are fixed, so here we go, their movement phase has begun. They pushed out these guys off the Rhino. And Astartes turn three, movement phase, they pretty much just jumped out of all their uh, vehicles. You've got the Eradicators on the center, Blade Girl coming from outflank, Flame Boys jumped out the Rhino with Vulcan, and you have also the. Hellboss is behind here. Very nice. I have my. Uh, and then Repulsor just gonna do here, kill some stuff, charge the Blind Lords, just try and slow See down. See what happens, and we have Vulcan in the shooting phase picking. A unit to get four year olds to wound against for flamers and melters, and that is going to be Poxwalker unit. And the shooting phase now begins. In turn three. The Do Blade Guard with Adrex Agatona firing down into the Plague Marines. Starting with Adrex. So D6 plus three, so four shots. Pause oh, to wound, strength five. Two, four ups. No, you kill the Plague Marines. Plus one strength as well. So, three. so threes to hit with the pistols. With Boots in the Plague Marines, so you're all hits. Winning all fours. Fours. Five, oh, yes. Five. Plus one strength. <laughs> three, four ups. Suspense, killing me. Nice. The remaining Hellboss is firing down into the Blade Marines. Super charging on threes. With oaths, you need it. Oh, and it was real wounds. Remember? Oh my god, that's everything. That. Extra wounds. No real wounds though, you don't even need, oh, okay. Six ups, I'm so gonna die. The Plague Marines are wiped out. The Plague Marines are taken out as this corridor heats up and it is painful over here. There's a lot of Space Marines and you fired down with the Plague Marines are taken out by the Blade Guard and the Hellblasters. CP for Cloud of Fires on the Plague Bus Crawler as the Eradicator is going to fire everything into them. Three of them are within half range for Melter Range. So, Not Melter Range, but plus one strength. Shots with strength 10. Four. And fours to hit with raw. Miss. No. Fours to Just wound to with full rerolls because I'm a vehicle. Jesus Christ. Three five ups. Invulnerable saves, please. No. Three six damage. Three ones. Oh, I'm so dead. Jesus Christ. Wow. My tank is gone. Does he blow up? He does not. Oh my god, the Plague Bus Callers get marked. Repulse is doing the big guns into the drone, little guns into the box walkers. Twizzler and Talon into the drone. Yes! Misses. Oh Cannon. Man. Missing as well. Is it hits on a three? Hits on three and it's uh, uh -oh. threes. Yeah. Misses, but it's twin linked. He's twin linked. Misses again. Oh, five up. Fun. No. I can kill you here. You if can, but please don't do it. By the power please, of I the ask dice. nicely. No power of dice, no power of dice. Yeah! Things. I lost the play rings, I lost the tally man, I lost. Oh, no, I lost the tally man, no! And I also lost all my tanks. No, and the drones on two wounds left. Jesus. Um, he toss into box walkers. Three. Threes with a bunch of misses, thank you. Force wound. It's pretty decent. It's pretty one, two. Six up covers, because plus one. Making one of them, two of them. Five up foot of pants. Bam! What do you want, dice? One down, 19 to go. Final flame boys going everything into Typhus's unit. Over there, you are spending two CP, but basically get dev wounds, I and you can re-roll re the wound roll as well, yeah. which is nasty. So ten d six. Ten d six. Holy schmackle craps. Ones and twos. On three wounds. You wiped out the poxwalkers. Now Vulcan comes in. D six plus three. Please leave me alone. Oh! The starties are pushing back. Death. We're taking a hammer blow here. Can we hold on? Oh no. How did you get nine threes? Okay. 
Um, I'm just gonna pick them all up. Okay, can we roll? Oh yeah. Yes. 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 Four ups. Typhus. Oh, he just died. Typhus is wiped out. Yeah. Still shooting phase. Typhus is wiped out. You killed two characters that round and another tank. Now charging phase. Also charged me. Did no damage. The blight was gonna fight back off camera. Four damage. You now tied me up. That's the end of your turn. You get a lot more points for killing two characters and killing the plague bus caller as well. So scores on the doors is pushed now into Death Guard turn three. No prisoners and attempting target for the cards for Death Guard in turn three. Attempting target is that objective over there, guarded by a whole sea of Astarte. We passed the Battleshock test on that drone, spent a CP to heal three wounds on him. I am getting seven points of primary, starting to rack it up a little bit more for the Death Guard. See how many points we can get. We're behind quite a bit, so we need to do a lot of damage and get a lot of points. So we'll see what happens in Death Guard turn. Right, end of the move phase of the Death Guard. We've stayed in combat with the Blight Lords. We've pushed up this Hellbrute. we pushed up the drone. We pushed up the Blight Lords, taking the back objective. We kept the Plague Marines in here, going to wipe out these scouts. We pushed up the Flame Drone to wipe out these Eradicators who need to get eradicated because they've done so much damage, so been your MVP so far. So we'll see what happens in the shooting phase now as it begins. And we need to take no prisoners, and attempting target could be a bridge too far. But we will see as the shooting phase now begins, my friends. Let's go. Plague Spitters from the Foted Bloat Drone are going to go into your Eradicators. Plague Spitters into the Eradicators. 2d6. Boom! Oh! Twos! Barbecue! Everything but one! One well, eradicator's <laughs> taking damage, hopefully. Five ups. You make a few fives. fives. made a bunch of fives. That was so Son much. of a Blood, gun. Two and Raphael Reigns, everything into those eradicators. Spend a CP for armor contempt, and I spend a CP to get an extra AP to ignore that armor contempt. So here we go with 14 combi bullet shots. Hitting on threes, lethals! Lethal! Ooh! Seeing a few sixes. Three. And a few misses. So Reloading once to wound. Ah. It mattered. No, it did. Four, four up saves with AP1 effectively. And you, yes! One more dies, one's down to two. Melter Drone's gonna do the Multi Melter into the Eradicators. He's gonna do the Plague Spitter into them, and the Missile Launcher into the Eradicators as well. Missile Launcher on a three, hits. On a two, wounds. Yes. AP2 down to AP3 because you're still within Contagion Bridge. Uh, yeah, so. So you have a Armor Contempt though, back so up to AP2. So five. So five up. No! You bar! Melter! Two hits. Nice. Threes. Melt up, two wounds, melt up, two deaths. Four, so sixes. It's AP5 to AP4. Go through, first one does five damage, second one does four damage. Two Kills two eradicators. But bam! How does the melter feel, eradicators? How does it feel? <laughs> and then Balspur into them. The flame boys, three shots with lethals. One lethal, one hit, wounding on a nothing, one damage on the flame boys. Brute into the flame boys, blast, supercharge, yes, so it's D3 plus two. Yeah. Bam! Bam, single threes. Bam! bam. It's blast as well, and the Lord of Virulence can see them. Because the Lord of Virulence bust blast, he's yes. taking on twos and ignoring cover. He's so good. This is a strength nine, I believe, so twos, yes. definitely. So three wounds, AP, three, three down. So, so three, three just get blammed because um, it's AP four, because again, contagions are amazing. And that unit is now contaged. Or is going into the repulsor for D6. For four. So six is to wound. Final thing to fire is a rhino. Rhino's bolters plus three plague marines of bolters is ten bolter shots. Lethals and threes. Wow. Threes drop one, re-roll! Nice. That many, plus two, four ups. Should have just put myself in the building, that was dumb. Only one scout. Which wasn't amazing for kill points, because I haven't actually wiped out a unit completely, which is kind of dumb. I should have got these plague marines out for no prisoners. That was Flame Drone is going to charge those two scouts. That's a good idea. Uh... That's a nine. is going to charge this repulsor. That's a fun. Should have had the flame marines charged, but now now just going to charge those guys. Come on, Rhino. Do it for the other goals. Brute's coming in. Into the Repulsor, who's taking four damage. He's got five attacks, he hits on threes. Strength 12, maybe two, flat three damage, but going to AP three. Threes, please. Oh my god, threes. Yes. Bam. Three six ups. Oh, it takes six damage. Blood Drone's got three attacks, he is taking the objectives with lethal hits. For two hits, and this is strength six, this is twos to wound. One wound onto the- five. So six up. Rhino four, what well, scouts on a wound? Drone four, scouts on uh, a wound. This guy is on six wounds. You can find me back, and we have the Blight Lords to fight off. Makes a joke safe. Blight Lords have twenty attacks, hitting on threes. Lethal hits. He has six wounds left. Come on, lethals. That was pretty decent. And then we're looking at sixes again. Oh, there's another one. Nice. Well, six ups. Yes. The mirror, let's finish him off. He's on two wounds. He's got two damage. He's got five attacks with lethals. Here we go. Lethals. No lethals. Fives. Makes. 
one of them. Six off or death, sir. Yes, again, the AP saved me. He made so many times that AP is clutch. Four to five, the AP would have made it. That's huge. Killed that guy. Get two points of no prisoners. Discarding attempting target. Finishing death guard turn. Start his turn four. They have the same cards. Assassinate and bring it down. They score quite the eradicators. And you're oathsing the Blight Lords, the Moon Phase. Oh, in the Moon Phase, the Astartes, they are pushing up. The Flamestorm Assault Force is assaulting. They're getting ready to try and take the back objective with the Rhino. Try to take out the drone. We'll see what happens. Shooting phase begins, starting with... Phase, he's going to select this drone for real ones. With the Flame Rune Melter Weapons for the Vulcan. That's very disgusting. Combi Weapon into the uh, Blight Lords from the Rhino. Two and shots. On two hits with Dead Wounds on course. Blight Lords down on a wound. Lieutenant coming into the Blight Lords. Nothing. Haha. <laughs> Blade Guard are firing into the Blight Lords. There's also trees. With a trees. The two guy on a wound has a two up save. And a two up. He makes it. Bring in. D6 plus three again. Yeah. Go away, Adrix. Oh my god. Go away, Adrix. T6, baby. I'm a tank. Three. Uh, three ups. Slow roll. To never make it. Oh my god. Oh. Blight Lord falls. One's on a wound. Two eradicators into my hell brute, spending a CP for so fours. Fours with re rolls. So uh, worth it. Yes. T9. Uh, Strength threes. 10 to 3's. Strength 10 is big. Is it big enough? Who? 5 up. Nope. D6 right, damage. Rerollable. I'm guessing you're gonna reroll that. Three, four. Hellbrutes on 3 wounds! And, and now you have the flame squad left in Vulcan. Uh, and the Hellblasters. I hope that's gonna go everything into Blight Okay. 3's to hit the Blight Lords. Oaths. Supercharged. I got every Blight Lords taking some damage here. 3's to wounds. Blight Lords! I'll take that. Yeah. 4 of them ones. Tanky! Please make that. No. One Blight Lord remains as a hazardous check. You lose another one. Plus he fires. He does. Three's to wound the Blight Lords with yeah. nothing. Nice. And one <laughs> Hellbrute dies. Hellblaster. Vulcan and four guys into the Hellbrute and the other four guys into the drone. Vulcan first for D6. Plus three again. Okay, so six. Five's to wound his AP1. Huzzah. And you get one, one two, three ups. Oh my god, why? Do I, how many times have I rolled double he one this 46. game? 46. Oh my god. Okay, so you get Nine. only... Five's wound. Left. Four. Two plus save. Two plus save. Two plus save. Two plus save. Yes! Nice. Single wound remaining! Four guys into the black hole. 46. Is not great again. Nice. On the wound roll. Five. Azrael picked you to that. Good thing. Because you get two more saves. Take one down. on four wounds. That finishes the shooting phase. You brought the Hellbrew down to one. You wiped out four Blight Lords. It wasn't bad at all. Charging phase now is the way to go. Mr. Adrax into the drone. Holy Charging crap. phase! Intense. Okay, cool. So you made the charge of here into the drone. You made the charge with the Rhino into the Hellbrute and the Blight Lords and the Lord of Virulence. Getting Tank Shock off for a CP. And you're also charging the drone with all the Flamer Boys as well. So, Tank Shock, I have one wound left. Can you kill me? Five here to kill me. I'll and you back. just about do it. Hellbrute goes down. A round of applause for the Hellbrute. Thank you. Thank you. Does it quit? Nothing in his. Oh, he does! Ooh. Charge over here. The Flamer Boys, nothing in melee. Can the Spear of Vulcan kill the drone? Spear of Vulcan hits on two. So six attacks. Two damage. Getting two ones, one one. Got six, T10, because I'm tanking. Five to wound. For one wound. Two, two damage. He's on two wounds. Blade Guard coming to this drone. Okay. Five Blade Guard, 20 attacks. Who in range into this floated boat drone. Using to reroll ones to hit. Three. Rerolling ones, twos are good. Five to wound with four rerolls from your character. You're gonna need it. Okay, that wasn't great. Six five ups. I can't make five ups. Apart from making two. Eight, ten, he's dead. Oh my god, I can't make five hours. Explosion! No. Wiped out the photo blow drone, killed Lord Blight Lords, get three more points secondary, and we'll now push into Death Guard turn four as we killed a flame boy in combat. <laughs> Extend battle lines are secured in no man's land. The contagion range is nine inches maxed. I have nothing to battle shock. Apart from the drone, uh, so he passes battle shock test, and he can use stratagems, and also the blight lords of the lord of virulence also pass their battle shock test. They love it as well. Tallyman long since dead. We're gonna get the plane wounds out of the rhino and see him if we can take this objective off you. All right, movement phase pretty much concluded. We've pretty much pushed up these plague marines, kept the blight lords in combat because they're tied up. Drones holding it down. These blight lords are pushing up. Rhino's holding this objective. We're extending the battle lines. We gotta secure the no man's land. We gotta do what we can and take the center objective. Shooting phase now starts as he's going to activate a 12-inch aura of Contagion with his ability. 
Let's go. Right, let's get 20 shots. They're coming in hot. Threes to hit with lethals. Let's go. Uh, no, you wounded a threes to wound because I'm trying to four and a T3 now. Yes. Just weak. There you go, I got four ups today. Four. Fours. Failing two. So much Fours. Broken a wound, that's all we did. Continuing. We have the Melter drone. He's going to fire into combat with everything he has. Missile's going to fire out of combat into the uh, Rhino. Missile into the Rhino. It's a little minus one. Strength nine. Wounds on a three. Yeah, a six, so, up. Uh, six up. Fails it. Nice. D6 damage. Four to kill you. Three. Three <laughs> Plague Marines and Combi Bolters plus the Icon Bearer into the Bli into the Plague Marines, sorry, plus the Sergeant Plasma Gun. Everything into the um, Blade Guard. Blade Guard. Bolters. Eight shots on threes with lethals. Bam. Three to wound. Bam. Four. There we go. One Blade Guard falls, and then we have the Plasma Gun. He is going to supercharge. So two shots. Two hits. Two wounds. Nice. Two four ups. To take a damage, he does into these scouts. Bolters, four shots. Hey, two lethals. Nice. You want a three? That's three wounds. Three, reducing your save. Yes. That's the end of the shooting phase. You're holding on by the skin of your teeth. Charge phase begins. Let's go. The we'll start off with the blight lords. They're charging into the blade guard. You need a big one here. Oh, Oh nine. That looks good. Hit him with the pincers. Plague marines charging the eradicators and the scouts. Pincer them, boys. Man, they can't fail. make a charge. Fail. So just coming in with the blight lords. Here we go. Piling in. Let's do this. CP for sustained hits, and I'm starting with the Blight Lord Fest in the fourth turn for the Blight Lords coming in now for the Death Guard. 20 attacks, lethals and sustained on threes. Lethals and sustained with rerolls. With rerolls. So one. Threes. Nice. Sure, you failed four saves with the Blight Lords, so two guys die. Carolyn's coming in, he gets six attacks, hits on twos, lethals and sustained. Rerolls as well. Bam! I am reroll. Two to wound. Nice. Five go through, three down a piece. No, nope. re-rolling though, one. Nope, he dies. Another one dies. <laughs> Last blade guard, also dies, but you can re-roll the ones. Is alive, he dies, you can re-roll the ones again. He dies. Adrax takes three damage. Out the blade guard, leaving just Adrax Agatone left. And for fight Turn phase continues, you wiped out the drone, I wiped out the rhino. Now you're gonna fight back with Adrax, who's three damage. Can you kill me and take me off the point, stopping my secure no man's land in turn four? Okay. And twos. Freeze the wound. Oh! Next plus it, I take the points, securing the no man's land and standing in the battle lines, giving me 10 for secondary as we push down to the final turn. Four. I reroll once to wound. You do, do you? On that objective, because you're on that objective. Oh my god, you do. Try to completely forgot last time. But oh! <laughs> well, now see what happens in an epic game as push down to the final turn. The flame storm back. Basically, turn five, command phase, who you oath sing? Um, the Plague Marines who fail the charges on two consecutive occasions on different squads. Yes. As Battleshock, you failed a bunch of Battleshocks over here. The Eradicators are Battleshocked, so are the Scouts. Final turn for the start, his movement phase is over. They fell back with these things, kept in combo with Adrax on a heroic last stand. Move up with the Hellblasters, stayed still with the Flamers, trying to wipe out the characters, get as many as that points. And you've taken the objective with the Lieutenant. Of awesomeness, who's literally ran the whole board. <laughs> he has ran the whole board. <laughs> Through absolute chaos and carnage, so many things have died in an absolute murder fest. I hope you guys have enjoyed because this has been such a good game to be a part yeah. of, guys. Thank you for watching. And we're in the final turn. Oh, it's the Plague Marines. And to start the shooting phase, these guys are going to be forward also in. Oh, crap. Blast is firing into the Plague Marines. I'm going to spend my last CP for Cloud of Flies. Very nice. Hitting on fours with rerolls. Yeah, you've rolled so many sixes with the Hellblasters all game. <sighs> I'm T5, so it's threes to wound here. Three's to wound, yeah. Uh, so six up saving bacon makes one bacon hell blasters die on their supercharge dice. Uh. Absolute chaos and destruction with hell blasters. They fired again. Uh. They get one more wound six up save me lol The plague marine falls, but another two hell blasters die Okay, uh. these guys are going dev wounds into this squad so with one, four flamers and Vulcan yeah. You just bring you bring plague west quarters with flamers 46 not bad dice wounding on five six of the devs and you can re-roll as well Please leave me alone Okay, that's gnarly. That kills, that kills the, the guy. Ow. Re rolling. Gets another two mortals. Oh. Okay. Five, two ups. He's live! Four points. Can Vulcan stand? Kill the Lord of Virulence, who's on two wounds as AP1. He knows the gauntlet of the forge. Here we go. That was nice. Oh, oh god, mortals. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no, I'm alive! alive. Five, three ups. He has one wound left. Five of them, one at a time. Three up. Brother, please, why do you fail all the time? The Lord of Merlin's Fools. 
And that's four points for a secondary. That's pretty big. Charging the scouts into the Plague Marines. Scouts make the charge into the Plague Marines. Then into the mortal in the shooting phase to the Plague Marines as now you have the scouts fighting in melee. Nothing. The Plague Marines stand their ground as now I fight into the character and we're gonna go with Most Pretty Fools. And the Blind Lords are amazing! Blind Lords! We got Plague Knives! Plague Knives! Plague Knives with Lethals! Lethals! Please! AP0, but you know what? No, it's AP1! No. Scouts are unkillable. They haven't died all game. They took Blight Launchers to the face. They've taken everything. And they almost live. Holy oh shit. Wait, what the hell? No, they Wait, what the hell? Wait, what the hell? These scouts made it. <laughs> Big cards, capturing a meow person behind me line to death guard in the final turn. Secondaries, we now must go uh, battle shock the plague marines. I'm gonna spend a CP to auto pass it there, and that is the end of the battle shock. Fair eight points, capturing the outpost. We're gonna get three points, hopefully, for binding me lines by pushing the rhino back. In the moon phase, push the bite lords up. We have made that sticky. That one's sticky. We're holding the enemy outpost because that's sticky. This one's sticky. Fill these guys back so this one scout won't take it off me in there. Pass the battle shock test. We have these guys that are going to try and shoot the guys in the building, and we're going to f charge those Hellblasters taking that objective, is the plan, and we'll get another five points of primary. Huge. One guy in Raphire range, we have 12 shots into the guys in the building. Here we go. Ah! Nice, lethals. Fours. No contagions and no AP. Three ups, you guy and a half. Wounded, two guys die. Bam, bam, two flamers the Death Guard seems to be a hard counter to the flamers because the flamers get close, but then you get weaker. Yeah. As that is the shooting, we now have charges. Blight Lords need to try and make charge into the Hellblasters. Six is charge. Yeah. Blight Lords have just gone around the map and left a sticky trail in their wake. And now they make the charge, take this objective, and they're going to wipe out these hell. Asian, here he comes. Twos. Nice, nice, nice. Twos. Bow. Six ups. And boom, we pick you up, and that is the end of the game, my friend. Well played. Okay. The end of the game. game, after a heroic, heroic attempt by both sides, the Space Marines got 65 points. They got 33 for primary, 32 for secondary, plus 10 for a painted army. is 75 points. But the Death Guard got 33 for secondary and 43 for primary. Final score, plus 10 points for painted army and based, is 86. So it was 86 to 75. So guys, it came down to 11 points, but the Death Guard clutched it in the final turn, getting 33 points. So thank you for watching, guys. A really epic game. MVP for me, I would give it to the Blight Lords. They literally came down turn two, rapid ingress. They slowly took this objective. They got five points behind enemy lines. They got six points there. They held this objective for another five points, killed these Blade Guard, took this objective. They left a trail of stickiness in their way. What went well, I'd, I'd say I did well with my deep strikes. Even better if uh, Typhus didn't do too much. And he did well to kill my vehicles. But what went well, I just did pretty well with my shooting and my AP, and my flamers, and I was just able to chip away again and again and just come in and just, you couldn't withstand. But it was a really good attempt by the Space Marines. MVPs for the Astartes. Oh, the Renegade is so good. Yeah, they were amazing. They're so good. They literally picked up all my vehicles in the beginning. <laughs> They're so good. I can't, I think I should probably run them in three mans. Yeah, the six man was nasty. Or two six mans, maybe. But they were doing work. They kind of just kill. They kill whatever they hit, but then yeah. that means you can focus them down. Big moments. I mean, killing that land raider was big, yeah. and the repulsor. You Typhus did, a good... did that. Typhus did. See, those yeah, that six was six. Was huge. That's flamer score with Vulcan was nasty. MVP is probably them or the Hellblasters. Yeah, even better riff probably. Jumping him out of turn earlier and putting oh, him yeah, on the point. Oh yeah, I should have stayed here. I don't know, I just came You kind of kept, kept coming yeah, towards me. Towards you, you, you really were on a smoky oh, one. I was so excited to play. It was a really good yeah. game. But that was it. Guys, thanks for watching. This has been Shed Gaming, and we'll catch you.